Hi, this is Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website. This is our homepage where you can find links to over 300 blog posts, and if you slide down, you can find links to over 400 YouTube videos on accounting. I wanted to finish up a discussion I was having on deferred tax assets and liabilities. And we have a situation where depreciation for taxes is different than depreciation for book or accounting records, which you see here. Book is straight line, 30,000 a year. Tax is an accelerated method. The result is it creates temporary differences, which you see here, each year. Dollar amounts. If you look down here, you'll see that we calculate the tax impact of the temporary difference, and I'm just going to take 2009. So, 2009, tax is higher than book depreciation by $9,600 which connects down here. We assume a tax rate of 30%, and we come up with a tax balance of 2880. 2880. So what journal entry do we make there? Well, that is a deferred tax liability. It's a temporary difference, meaning that it's going to reverse in a later year. So the thought process is, Depreciation creates more tax. More tax creates a lower liability. And if there's a lower liability this year, that means there's a higher liability in later years. Hence, you have a deferred tax liability. So the math, if your income tax expense is $9,000, the payable amount, the check you write to the government, is only sixty-one twenty, and the difference is a deferred tax liability. Now let's talk about the reverse. In 2011, book depreciation is higher than tax. Here's that difference. And you'll also see that it's a cumulative number that goes across. So the cumulative number in 2011 is 20,400. Multiplied by a different rate, 40% brings you down to 8160 in blue. We say that we this is the balance from the prior year. Therefore, the change is a credit or a deferred tax asset. A deferred tax asset because we're going to have a future higher tax deduction. So this created a deferred tax liability. This creates a deferred tax asset. So let's go down and see how that occurs. What you're seeing at the bottom of the page here is deferred tax liability, deferred tax liability. And if you slide over, you'll see in the T account, deferred tax liability here. And then there is that 1560 deferred tax asset that's a debit to the account because it lowers the liability, if you will. So. In these years where we have a deferred tax liability, we credit the deferred tax liability account. In these years, things reverse. Book depreciation is higher than tax. We end up with deferred tax assets that lower the balance. And at the end, when we finish depreciation, there's no balance in the deferred tax liability category. It's complicated. You may have to watch this a few times, but that's how things end up with a temporary difference between book and tax depreciation. Remember that we now offer classes through Conference Room. If you go to Conference Room here and hit Explore, you'll see on the left side both events and courses. So if I click on events at this time, this time of this recording, you'll see that there are three courses that you can join. And if you click on each of these, you'll find out information about the course, how to attend, and you can RSVP here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.